Marco Rubio, all throughout the last Congress, had an immigration problem. Well, we're going to wait for them to finish, and then we'll continue talking about the bill. He pushed through a comprehensive immigration bill that the right wing absolutely hated because in addition to a whole slew of other measures, it included a pathway to citizenship for undocumented immigrants. What Rubio has done since then is taken an increasingly hawkish role on foreign policy. Uh, he has always sort of had this viewpoint of a more aggressive, robust U.S. presence in the world, but you've heard him become more and more outspoken on this issue, and he views this as a real selling point ahead of his likely 2016 run. Uh, when I spoke with uh, Senator Rubio last week, he made it very clear that he views that foreign policy is going to be a chief uh, calling card for him come 2016, particularly over governors who, he noted, tend to deal with more parochial issues, state-based issues, not these federal foreign policy matters. And even his one-time mentor, Jeb Bush, he took a little dig at him. When I asked him about Jeb Bush's views on foreign policy, he said, well, Jeb is certainly capable of learning about foreign policy. Clearly, Rubio, despite only being a first-term senator, is doing everything that he can to show that he has the pol foreign policy chops to become uh, commander-in-chief. Of course, critical at this time uh, with the war raging against ISIS and with the other domestic threats overseas. The question is, will it work?